हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम यू ऑल एंड टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू सी डी कोडिंग एलगोरिदम्स फॉर लीनियर ब्लॉक कोड्स एंड ऑल्सो एंड कन्वोल्यूशनल कोड्स ओके सी सी फॉर कन्वोल्यूशन कोड्स सो वाई वी शुड स्टडी डी कोडिंग एलगोरिदम्स सो सपोज इन एवरी स्टेप विल बी और इन एवरी सीनारियो विल बी लर्निंग हाउ टू ट्रांसमिट द बिट्स ओके वन जीरो डबल वन इज देयर ओके इट्स अवर डेटा एंड वी विल बी ट्रांसमिटिंग इट थ्रू चैनल एंड नाउ वी विल बी स्टडिंग दिस पार्ट दैट इज एट द रिसीवर पार्ट व्हाट एल्गोरिदम्स वी विल बी यूजिंग सो दैट वी विल बी गेटिंग द सेम डाटा व्हिच विल बी सेंट एट द ट्रांसमीटर साइड सो व्हेन वन जीरो डबल वन इज सेंट द सेम डाटा हैज टू बी ऑप्टेन्ड एट द आउटपुट साइड सो व्हाट आर द एल्गोरिदम्स व्हिच आर यूज टू Uh, do such work so that we will be discussing and in that specifically maximum likelihood decoding mld algorithm today we will discuss okay so if you are new to the channel please uh, hit the like button and please guys subscribe our channel for more videos and thanks for your support so coming to our topic maximum likelihood decoding the maximum likelihood decoding works mainly on the following principle okay so this is very a general block diagram which gives a outline of how the decoding and encoding algorithms work so this d represents here data and here it is converted to code words by adding redundant bits and then it is passed through channel here and received at uh, received on the other side that is r so depending on the channel if the channel is too noisy then Uh, the r will be not equal to c that is r will be not equal to c means there is some error in the received bit as compared to that of transmitted bit so this is the transmitted code word and this is the received code word so here the maximum likelihood function is d cap so d cap means estimate of d suppose you are transmitting 101 here then the estimate should also be 101 so that we will be getting the same data at the output side also so as i said where d is the data d cap is the estimate of data at the receiver and c is the transmitted code vector r is the received code vector so before knowing the algorithm first we should know uh, what is meant by binary symmetric channel so binary symmetric channel is uh, suppose uh, it consists of two bits okay digital transmission is mainly based on two bits itself 0 and 1 so 0 and 1 this is the transmitter side and this is the receiver side so p means probability so there will be for any uh, so for 0 is transmitted so uh, at the receiver we will be having two options either we will be receiving as it is 0 either it is changed to 1 so similarly for 1 when we transmit one at the transmitter either we will receive one at the receiver or due to the error we will be receiving zero at the receiver so this is the basic diagram of binary symmetric channel okay so transmitted zero getting one is the probability p so it's an uh, it's uh, taken as p it can be any value so p can have 0.4 0.3 0.2 0.1 so generally it is taken as p so if it is p then uh, uh, transmitted zero obtaining zero will be 1 minus p because if it is p then it should be 1 minus p as total probability will be equal to 1 similarly for this node also if it is uh, for 1 to 0 for error the probability is p and for correct transmission the error probability is 1 minus p okay so that's about the binary symmetric channel now let's move to the other part okay so let us consider a convolutional encoder with a message vector being represented by d so for a convolution encoder the message is d and the corresponding code vector is c so corresponding code vector is c that is the code with the redundant bits which is fed to discrete memoryless channel let r represent the received vector which may be same as transmitted code vector due to channel properties which may be or may not be same as code vector uh, or received code vector c because uh, due to depending upon the channel if channel is too noisy then the transmitted code vectors uh, c and the received code vector r will not be equal 
as i said earlier okay so now given the received vector r the decoder is required to make an estimate d cap of the message vector so as i said decoder is decoder the function of the decoder is to uh, create an estimate d cap of the d so this is transmitted and this is estimate the decoder eventually produces an estimate c cap of the code vector so if d cap is equal to so when our data will be uh, equal at both the sides if and only if c cap is equal to c so decoder will also generate estimate of code vector c that is c cap if c cap and c are equal then d cap and d will be, will also be equal because depending on c cap equal to c the d value is derived uh, okay so after removing the redundant bits from the c code vector we will be getting that data our uh, back data as it is so generally c will be like this d will be here and some redundancy will be added here suppose our d is 101 then c will be like this 101 and some redundancy bits like 1100 so these are basically used for encoding purpose or security purpose so the redundancy bits are added there so if the above equation is not satisfied then a decoding error has occurred in the receiver if this equation is not satisfied then some error has occurred in the Uh, uh channel transmission is uh, confirmed okay the estimate c cap is said to be optimum if probability of decoding error is minimum so this is said to be optimum if the probability of decoding error is minimum that's what this line implies so it makes sense that so here the continuation of um, <clears throat> the previous example from basics of information theory coding we know that probability of decoding error is minimized if effect e is chosen to maximize the log likelihood function so maximum likelihood decoding mainly depends on the maximum log likelihood function so if log likelihood function is greater then the probability of errors will be less so let probability of uh, R by C means transmitted C receiving R denotes conditional probability of receiving R given that the code vector C is sent. Okay, the log likelihood function is given by law ln of probability of R by C. So the maximum likelihood estimation will choose estimate and such that ln of probability of R by C is maximum. So it will try to make this value as maximum. So the decoder will try this. Okay. so consider the case for binary symmetric channel where due to channel properties the code vector c and received code vector r will differ from each other so these will be differing from each other then probability of that one is given by conditional probability this means multiplication of individual probabilities probability of ri by ci here okay so this is a so probability of r by c is as given uh, as i said earlier Uh, this uh, symbol means multiplication okay so multiplication of individual probabilities r1 by c1 r2 by c2 r3 by c3 like this we will be multiplying n number of probabilities to get the total probability r by c so next coming to our other part of the explanation that is the log likelihood function is given by log, uh, log of probability of r by c equal to so ln i have taken outside i equal to 1 to n probability of ri by ci so this multiplication can be written in terms of addition because multiplication and okay so ln when i take inside so this will become summation okay so that pi will be converted to summation here so log of probability of ri by ci so here is the important factor which we should understand okay so probability of ri by ci equal to p if ri is not equal to ci means if there is error the probability is p and if there is no error means ri is equal to ci the probability is 1 minus p so based on this itself the binary symmetric channel diagram is uh, drawn so if there is a error okay so if there is a error the probability is p and if there is no error the probability is 1 minus c so now you understood why there is 1 minus p and p okay so due to this equation due to this equation the binary symmetric channel is having 1 minus p and p as their its probabilities okay 
so i hope you understood about binary symmetric channel and the maximum likelihood decoding algorithm so next part is also important let's concentrate on this so if we assume received code vector v differs from the transmitted code vector c exactly in dh positions referred as the hamming distance between r and c so this uh, so having distance is what uh, the number of non similar elements okay so if suppose this is our data and uh, this is our another data uh, okay so what is its having distance so number of bits by the which the two code words will differ is the having distance so here it is 1 here it is 0 so it will be one having distance it is same let it be and uh, here it is same here it is same here it is differing so its having distance is dh is equal to 2 means by two factors uh, by two bits this uh, received so suppose this is the code vector c and this is received vector r so r and c are differing by two bits so these lines uh, basically explain about this function okay so then the above equation can be written as log of probability of r by c equal to dh into log of p plus n minus dh into log of 1 minus p so 1 minus p means uh, so here these are the error bits okay dh means error bits dh into log of p minus so out of n there are dh number of uh, error bits so remaining will be n minus dh so there are total n bits out of which dh are error bits so uh, if you subtract uh, total number of bits minus error bits we will be getting non error bits or uh, correct bits okay so correct bits are multiplied with ln of 1 minus p due to this reason so correct bits are multiplied by 1 minus p because 0 is transmitted 0 is received here as i discussed earlier so now again see here so la log a minus log b for me is this so dh dh is common here so it is taken outside log a minus log b as we know log a by b it will be so log a means log p by log 1 minus p so log p by 1 minus p it is written here and then again uh, plus lan log of 1 minus p written as it is so this is the equation for maximum likelihood decoding so above equation says choose c cap such that hamming distance should be small so hamming distance should be small means if hamming distance is zero then both the code vectors will be equal so is this implies there is no error and the transmitted code vector c is received or decoded correctly and the system is perfectly all right okay so uh, this equation implies that dh should be smaller okay here r is compared with all possible code vectors c vectors and one with small dh is estimated as c cap so finally ultimate goal is to calculate c cap so the received vector r is compared with every code vector c possible code vector c1 c2 c3 c4 and c5 so r is compared with c1 r is compared with c2 r is compared with c3 r is compared with c4 r is compared with c5 so when r is compared with c1 suppose the hamming distance or dh is uh, okay 4 when r is compared with c2 it will be 5 and r is compared with c3 it will be suppose 3 okay i will write 3 here then r is compared with c5 the distance is 1 so out of these combinations the algorithm or the decoder side will select one which is having lowest having distance okay so this one is selected because it closely res resembles to our transmitted code vector c okay transmitted code vector c so this is the basic idea how a maximum likelihood decoding function occurs so at the end i just want to conclude by saying that maximum likelihood decoding function is creating or uh, uh, creating a estimate uh, such that uh, the received or uh, transmitted vector uh, transmitted data will be received correctly at the receiver side so that's all about uh, the maximum likelihood function and in my next video i will be explaining an exam with an example so this is a general theory how a maximum likelihood function works or decoder works so in next video i will explain taking an example so stay tuned 
थैंक यू थैंक्स फॉर योर सपोर्ट प्लीज सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर अपडेट्स थैंक यू